Hey, what's up? This is Jordan Wagner with PremierGuitar.com here to tell you about Dean Zielinski's newest creation, the DBZ Cavallo Peacemaker. Now this guitar is quite simply one of the coolest looking flying V's I've ever seen. Now, this particular V has kind of a different type of construction for, you know, a V style guitar. It actually has a maple top with a mahogany back. The top has been stained so deeply that it looks to be about the same shade as the mahogany stain underneath it. And it has this just gorgeous carved top that's designed to resemble the hilt of an old revolver from the Wild West. You can kind of see DBZ's signature thin contoured profile all the way along each side of the instrument. It's just fantastic, just incredible build quality. I couldn't find a flaw anywhere on this guitar. Um, has standard tunematic type bridge, string through body. Uh, these guitar, or these, excuse me, these pickups were custom wound for DBZ. They're very hot. The neck pickup registers about a, you know, a standard PAF output of almost 8K. The bridge pickup, however, is over 15K. But what's really, really cool about the pickups is they have a, an incredible volume balance. So it's just very, very well done. Uh, the bridge pickup is very clear, very bright, and very cutting, but has a lot of body to it. Uh, the neck is capped with an ebony fingerboard and is uh, primarily made out of mahogany as well. And the headstock has DBZ's signature headstock with uh, Spurzel tuners on the back of it. Now, if you're a pretty seasoned player, you understand that neck profile is a major, major deal. It can make or break your playing ability. Uh, I, for one, like kind of uh, a little bit more of a V contour or like a little thinner profile, like such as a Gibson uh, 60 Slim Taper. You know, something in that vicinity. Anything thinner than that, you know, it just kind of forces me to play a little bit differently in a way that I don't really like to play. And anything fatter, you know, I kind of, kind of gear more towards the, the classic rock riffing sort of thing. So a lot of players understand that. The Cavallo Peacemaker has a smooth V profile on the back of it. Not very baseball bat quality like to it, but it's, it's thin, but it has a lot of meat in the middle. It's very, very comfortable. It makes it very, very easy to go up and down the neck doing lead work and also gives you um, a good amount of material to, to keep your hand anchored on when you're riffing. Now, the Cavallo Peacemaker is just a great guitar all around. I mean, there really isn't any one thing that it's specifically geared for, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, from the looks at it or of it, you can kind of, you know, tell it's possibly going to appeal more to the metal crowd. But I, for one, was able to get some really, really killer uh, uh, country rock type tones out of it. Very, very good low gain tones. And it's just a very, very versatile guitar. I kind of wish that there was a coil tap in it to kind of give it a little bit more versatility. Uh, maybe separate volume and tone knobs for the pickups. But the pros really outweighed the cons in this case because it was just very difficult for me to find any sort of uncomfortable feel with the guitar or run into any difficulty dialing in a tone that I like. So I'm actually going to play it right now for you. We have a Crank Crankenstein half stack sitting right behind me right now and I'm going to run through a few riffs and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs>
So there you have it. That's DBZ's new Cavallo Peacemaker guitar. You can find out more online at dbzguitars.com and read my full review in our October issue online at premierguitar.com. This is Jordan Wagner, and uh, thank you for watching premierguitar.com.